Yeah, hi guys, so a conversation with a Jehovah's Witness. So, um, Jehovah's Witness is there and um, I, I hope you guys love truth, alright, because uh, let's face it, the, the most important thing to get to God is truth. If you don't love truth above all things, right, how can you love God above all things? So, so, yes, yeah, so I hope you guys are on the same footing with that. And also, if you love truth, lying will be a bad, leave a bad taste in your mouth, right? You you won't, you won't want to be a liar, all right? It, it's just detestable. So even if you've been lied to, or let's just say, you know, like an extreme example is maybe uh, the governing body told you something wrong, right? If you've realised that it's wrong and you're still going around teaching everyone else that it's wrong, right? You, you should get a bad taste in your mouth or at least feel some sort of guilt over it. I, I hope, anyway. But, you know, God forbid. Anyway, so let, let's uh, just talk about Michael. This, this is interesting, anyway. This is um, Hebrew, alright? So you got like your Yod, Hey, Yod, Hey, Vav, Yod, Hey, Vav, Hey. Right, so you can see the symbols here and work out the words and all that. Um, so yeah, we'll talk about Michael, and his name is a question. All right, so I hope you guys don't think it's a statement. It's not saying Michael, who is who looks like God or seems like God. Right, it's a question. It's just like who can be like God, right? So the, that's Michael's name. So um. You guys, like, you, you changed, which is, I'm pretty proud of, you've changed all the, um, uh, a lot of the different words in the Bible, 7,000 times, all right, uh, more, way more than that, there's a lot more, um, especially the word Jehovah, all right, so you've swapped all the words, English words, God with Jehovah, the word Jehovah is Latin, right, which is why, um, the Catholic Church originally killed, um, or burnt uh, William Tyndale at the stake, right? Because he wanted to give the world the Bible in English so people could understand it and wouldn't be deceived, right? And the Catholic Church wanted to keep it Latin, right? Because they'd lose all their power, okay? So um, you guys have just reverted it back, wanted it back, which is okay, we, we still get it. Um, so... Yeah, with that, with that being the case, you've also erased, right, I, I would really like your website to have Hebrew there. You've got the Greek on there, but you don't have the Hebrew, so you've erased the Hebrew. So I, I, it would be really good if you had that on your site. I can go through all here, right. Um, um, most of you guys that knock on the door don't use your own site, right. The only reason why the KJV's here is as bait, all right. That's that's all it's there for. You guys don't read it because you just don't um, recognize it. You think it's corrupt, and it's and only your books correct, which is a Catholic Bible, an Anglican Bible, by the way, two hundred years old, um, and you continue to change it. And again, if I'm lying, all right, like I said, I don't like lies, all right? Then um, don't just disagree with me. Prove me wrong, all right? Um. <clears throat> So, yeah, so what we I'll, I'll go to Daniel here. We'll have a look at uh, Michael. So this is, which one's this one? I think this is your, yeah, this is your old, older book. This is your 2000, and, oh, sorry, the 1980-something or other book. All right, and it says here, look, Michael. All right, 13, look, Michael. And this one, uh, but then Michael. Okay, so if you look here in the in the Hebrew, right, there's the word, but look. So you guys have removed the word look and, and you s uh, tell everybody that you're putting the correct words in your Bible. Um, but no, you're removing them, or your governing body is removing them and slowly removing Jesus from the Bible, all right? Um, look, lo, behold, see, 
all right so I'll show you what's going on here with with this one all right so but the prince of the royal realm of Iran was standing in opposition to me for 21 days and look Michael one of the foremost princes one of the foremost princes all right came to help me and I for my part remained all right so he just did his bit so he was there this angel was there fighting um, the uh, prince of Iran all right which I say is Satan as Arabs um, he's he's worked around in that area a lot all right um, so um, yeah look the foremost one of the foremost princes all right so Gabriel is also one of the foremost princes right so he is also an archangel Gabriel is also an archangel all right now it, it, again if you're going out and you're telling people right um, that Michael is on is the only foremost prince right is the only archangel then come to this bit here have a look and then erase it all right you must get rid of it which is what your your um, uh, hierarchy is doing they're slowly a bit by bit erasing um, Christians picking your Bible apart because we had only oh, no, choice we, only, we can only use your Bible all right so you must get rid of this one of the foremost princes all right he's not the foremost prince all right now if you come down here um, <laughs> You'll see the other one here. I will go forth and look also. The Prince of Greece is coming. All right, it's from Crete or whatever. However, I shall tell you right, the things noted down in the writings of truth, all right, scripture, and there is no one holding strongly with me in these things but Michael. All right, now I'll, I'll read this again. There is no one strong enough. Um, with me in these things right but Michael so this angel has been there fighting uh, the Prince of Iran right? but nobody can keep up with this angel but Michael nobody is strong enough to fight this uh, Prince of Iran with this angel but Michael you see what I'm saying all right Feel, feel what I'm saying. Feel the truth of what I'm saying. All right. There is no one holding strongly enough with me in these things but Michael. Do you see how powerful this angel is? All right. So I just want you guys to take note of when you're going out and you're knocking on people's doors and you notice these little things. And if you're lucky enough, Holy Spirit's with you poking at you in spots and he'll say take note of this right you make sure you take note of Holy Spirit before you take note of your governing body right because they are lying to you all right God bless